Aloha Pisces, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your monthly reading for the month of September 2019. So today I am going to be sharing with you your general theme for the month of September. So this is sort of the overriding energy sort of that bird's eye view of the month for you Pisces. And then I will be drawing some additional cards from my regular deck and that will give you more of the nitty gritty, more of the details about what is gonna be happening for you in the month of September. And then I'm focusing on transformation. So I've got the Sacred Traveler deck. This deck has been coming in um, every few months or so I've been using it. And I was called to use it again related to transformation. So this will give you some signs, some guideposts, some just general guidance around your personal transformation and where you are in that process. And then lastly, I've drawn a card from the Power Animal Oracle deck. And this is going to be an animal that wants to support you wants to help you in the month of September. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So your theme for the month is Ten of Earth. The Ten of Earth is very much about a contented family life, a happy family life. And it's also sort of the earth energy is very grounding, obviously. It's about how you make your money and what you need to do to be here on earth. Um, so the other piece that comes in with the ton of earth is financial security. So yay, we like that. And enjoying all of the little things in life. So really taking time to notice the things that light you up the things that you enjoy, the things that are, um, you know, make your day a little bit brighter and noticing and appreciating those things is gonna be helpful for you in the month of September. All right, so let's get my little deck going here and we'll see what else we have for you. And for you Minnesota peeps, um, anybody in Minnesota or close by Minnesota, I'm going to be there in September this month. And I have a video at the very end of this one that will give you a little bit more information about how you can connect with me in Minnesota. I'm doing a number of different events, some private readings, all kinds of fun stuff. And of course, there's always links below as well. Okay. So we've got quite a bit of purple, which again, I always connect with abundance. Purple is the color for wealth in the Feng Shui Bagua. And you've got a um, couple air cards and then also a change card, what I call a change card. These are uh, the major arcana cards. So first of all, we have the six of air coming in. Air cards, are, again, are about the head, the intellect, what's going on up in your brain. And this is letting you know that things are getting better. So you see these horses sort of coming out of the forest, that um, the boat, you know, they're on the boat and they're coming out of the forest. So it's the end of difficulties. Things are looking up for you. Um, definitely could mean taking a trip in the month of September. So that's a possibility for you as well. Uh, and then we have the night of air coming in. Night of air really speeds things up. So things happening very, very fast. Um, at the same time, requiring you to take your time in making decisions. Um, so making sure that you're not acting too rashly or too quickly, right? Um, just because there's exterior pressure doesn't mean that you have to take that on you can still take your time in making decisions and come up with different solutions, things that are more creative. So there's never just one solution to a problem. There's always multiple solutions. So get creative. How else can you solve this issue in this month? And one thing, uh, one of my clients, and I mentioned this last month, I think, you know, recommended is watching it at the beginning of the month and then watching this reading again at the end to see, because right now you probably have no idea what you're going to be making a decision about or what you need to make a decision about. But then towards the end of the month, you're going to know and be able to see how this played out for you. So I think that's really helpful. 
So we have the wheel coming in for you. This is Archangel Michael. We love us some Michael energy. He is our protector. In this particular case, that's a cog being pulled out of the wheel, so things are suddenly moving forward. Lots of good luck on your side, lots of fortune, um, really forward movement, which is great, right? Going into October, this is going to be a lot of forward movement for you, uh, which is really wonderful. We love that. So let's see what is going on for you in the transformation department. So we've got discovering truth coming in for you. This can mean a number of different things. Of course, it can mean, you know, you're coming upon a truth or you're uncovering some sort of truth this month. I also feel like this connects with your truth and standing in your truth, honoring your truth, honoring what feels right and true to you, right? So, um, what I see around this is sometimes other people have other, you know, have opinions that don't necessarily feel um, or resonate with you. And that's okay. Like everyone's kind of got their own deal going on, right? But you need to follow what feels right and true for you and not let other people's, um, you know, decisions and other people's viewpoints uh, keep you from following your truth or aligning with your personal path because um, only you know what's true for you right and then we have the joy and delight coming in which is very similar to the ten of earth in some respects because it is about finding joy in the little things in life so this is definitely another sort of prodding message for you to open your heart and really be in a space of looking for things that bring you joy, looking for things that light you up, following that, that blissful energy, the things that, that are um, essentially feed your soul, right? We want to follow that. And then take some time this month to watch the clouds. So lie back, relax, rest. Take it easy. So make sure that you are getting that time in to take care of yourself and to just be. So you don't have to be doing, doing, doing all of the time. It's important that you spend time to just be. Just watch the clouds. I was doing this yesterday when I, I was swimming in the pool and um, as I was, you know, doing sort of a backstroke or whatever, or I don't know that it was necessarily a backstroke, but I was, I was floating on my back. And I was looking up at the clouds and just noticing, right? They changed so quickly just in the short period of time that I was in the pool. Uh, the clouds really shifted and moved and I was just kind of watching them and I was looking to see what shapes they were making. And um, so it's really a, um, a thing to do when you're just being, right? So lay on the grass and look up at the clouds and see what you see. I love that energy for you. Okay. I've got your animal totem for this month, and it is the horse. Horse is all about freedom. So this is beautiful because it's such a great reminder that you get to choose. So you have this choice in everything, right? You get to choose how you show up. You get to sh choose how you react to others and to situations and circumstances. You get to choose what to do with your time, right? You get to choose what to do for work. Um, so many different ways that freedom shows up. So that horse energy is gonna be hanging around you this month and just reminding you of this amazing, incredible freedom that you have in this life. So, so good. If you want more, if you're interested in having a more personal connection with me, I do offer private angel readings. You can use the coupon code ANGEL20 to save 20% on any length of reading. And for those Minnesota folks, I will be offering in-person private readings in Minnesota. 
uh, at a slight, um, uh, slightly save, savings um, on my regular rates. And all of the links to that are below and you'll see in the next video a little bit more about my Minnesota trip. So much love and aloha. Aloha again, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I want to let you know that I'm coming to Minnesota. So I'll be back to Minnesota for a visit in September, mid-September through the end of September and I have um, so far three events that are currently scheduled um, during the time that I'm there. So the first one is going to be on Tuesday, September 17th. This will be in Cottage Grove, Minnesota and it is a night with the angels so i'm going to be doing a little channeling i'll be doing a channeled message from christine which is my spiritual team of angels and guides and then i will be opening up for gallery style readings so people you can ask your individual questions and i will be answering them in a group setting so that's super fun because usually whatever questions anybody asks, they relate to whoever is sitting in the audience. So that's an awesome thing to participate in and will be a lot of fun. So we're going to be doing that on Tuesday, September 17th. On Saturday, September 21st, I am going to be doing private angel readings at uh, the Caribou and Maplewood. So I've reserved a room there, so it will be a private room, uh, but nice, easy public access location for you guys. And that will be from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. And for that, I definitely, well, actually, all of these events, I encourage you to pre-register. So the events that I'm, the, the group events that I'm doing are limited to only 24 people, so I'm, those will definitely sell out and with the private readings those do typically fill up as well so I encourage you to go on and schedule your appointment uh, if you wish to have a private reading with me on Saturday September 21st so again that will be in Maplewood right across from Maplewood Mall for those that are familiar with that area and I will be doing private readings uh, there is a slight um, discount that I'm offering I think it's like $10 less than I normally offer these readings for online. Uh, so I'm doing that for my Minnesota peeps uh, for September 21st from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. I already have some appointments booked and so just you, you can go on the link below and book that session with me. The third event that I'm doing is on the following Tuesday, Tuesday, September 24th. And this event I am doing with my good friend Carol Morgan and it is called Winds of Change, a conversation with Zena Allen. So Carol Morgan channels uh, this um, high, uh, higher dimensional being called Zena Allen and we will essentially be having a conversation about change and about some of the things that are coming for us, particularly as we get ready for the new 2020 um, year and the energies of that year as we're, we're progressing towards that. And so that's going to be an amazing event. That will be from 6.30 to 9.30, also in Cottage Grove, also limited to 24 people. And again, I've already got people signed up for all of these events. So if you're interested in that, um, get on the link below and reserve your space. That's what I have for you. I'll see you guys in Minnesota. I'm also available for um, private feng shui consultations. I have room to do one or two of these. If you're interested in that, please reach out to me directly, private message me or email me. Uh, Kim at FindingYourFiji.com would be the best email to send to. And um, yeah, so if you have uh, uh, interest in doing a specific feng shui consult with me, that would be a great time to do it in person in Minnesota, in the Twin City metro area. So I'm not going to travel, you know, up north or super far, um, but I will do Twin Cities metro area. All right, have an amazing day, much love, and I'll see you in Minnesota for those that are going to be there.